Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to do a reading vlog today. It is at the official start of Golden Week here in Japan. Golden Week is like spring break except adults actually get to enjoy it as well. So it's a, it's a spring break for everybody. And so it's Thursday. It's the very first day of Golden Week. It is super super gloomy outside. Um and yeah, I think I'm just going to I'm going to try and read. Uh I mentioned in my last video that I have a huge huge brain fog. And I'm hoping that was just, you know, due to work. You know, I go to work all day and then coming home, I wasn't really feeling like doing much. So I figured that this is the opportunity to, to take advantage of my vacation and try and make it as productive as possible. Um, my first um, order of business is finishing this book, Signs Preceding the End of the World by Yudi Ereda. I briefly started it at work. It's super short. It's 100... Um, 14 pages and I'm on page 55 so I'm just gonna finish this and then um, I, I don't know I might read a uh, the McCarthy after this the Cormac McCarthy blood meridian that might be really really good um, but another goal I want to do is get back into some manga because holy hell my um Japanese lately when I've been writing I just been like why am I making all these stupid mistakes this is really really bad and um, I need, I just need, I need some, I, I need some Japanese in my life. And, and I've been, you know, holding on to these for no reason. And so my priority right now is to read the latest volumes, volume six and seven, six and seven of Gokushifu, which is the way of the house husband. Uh, this came out just last month, I believe. Super exciting. This series is absolutely, it's hilarious. It's so amazing. Like every character is adorable but ridiculous it's like if you like puns this is this is uh what you want to read so it's the way of the household uh the way of the house husband in english and i just looked it up in volume five is coming out uh next month in may um but i'm gonna be ahead of you so ha 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 you should read japanese if you want to be as cool as i am yeah <laughs> um mm. And then the next the next order of business is to read the latest volume of Yotsubato number so volume fifteen. This was a huge surprise because um, there's been nothing new from this uh, manga for three years. But this this series is pure joy. It's co comedic. It's 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 innocent. It's humble. It's it's so funny. It's it's as funny as this, but it's a different kind of humor. But it's amazing. Yotsubato is so amazing. And if you're a beginner learner of Japanese, this is the best comic to read. This is the first native Japanese material you should read. Because it's very easy to read. But it's so charming, it makes you flip the page. So anyway. Um, yeah, so that's those are my plans. And um, that it's also going to be, I'm going to be cleaning and then um, there's going to be a violin playing. Not around, not in front of you guys. I would not play violin on, on, on a vlog. Um, not with sound, at least. Um, yeah, but like, you know, just regular activities. Um, but just read. I'm going to read. So yeah, I'm going to finish that um, science preceding the end of the world first. And then we'll see where we go from there. It's exactly one hour later, and I finished reading Science Proceeding the End of the World by Yuri Herrera, um, translated by Lisa Doman from the from Mexican Spanish. I don't really care for this as much as I really thought I would. Um, it's basically about this girl named Makina, who is sent to go find her brother by her mother, and at the same time. Um, passes a, a, a message from a Mexican cartel. Uh, basically, the Mexican cartel helps her get to the U.S. so she can find her brother. So they use her to also send a package. And the thing is, like, it's a story I already know very well. And it's not really told in a way that's very new or different, at least for me. And the thing is, like, you, I read the blurb and, and um, there's all these... Um, Pray, there's all this praise from like critics and 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 whatnot and they're using words like a masterpiece um, Mexico's greatest novelist um, his writing is poetic it's a soaring myth uh, other words that are used um, 
dazzling. Well, one person couldn't stop talking about the bird that pooped on his shoulder, which is a little, a little out there. But it's just like the thing that turned me on in the was the blurb that says he explores the crossings and translations people make in their minds and language. And the thing is, like, I, I just didn't get that, at least not from the English translation. Maybe in the original Spanish, there's you can see much more the creativity with the words. And there is a translator's note in the back that kind of discusses this. But the question is, was the translator not as successful? And that's obviously a personal, you know, a personal opinion. Um, but was she just not as successful in translating his what seems to be a unique voice or does the author just not have as unique a voice as actually being portrayed i don't know so this is kind of disappointing i wanted it to be much more than what it was i wanted i wanted it to be more poetic i wanted to have like this super lyrical prose i wanted like the words haunting um defamiliarizing i that's what i wanted and I didn't get that. I got not so haunting and fairly familiar. So anyways, I decided I'm going to start volume 15 of Yotsubato. Um, so I just opened up and I got this cute little um, bookmark. Itsudemo kyo ga ichiban tanoshii hi. So, itsudemo kyo ga ichiban tanoshii hi. So today is always a fun day. So I think that's really appropriate for today. So even though it's gloomy and raining, um, because I'm going to be reading, today is going to be a good day. Um, and then the obi, so the obi, so in Japan, um, you have an obi, obi means belt. Um, and so you get like the marketing always comes in these flaps like this. And I am the type who removes them and throws them, throw them, throws them away. Um, so it's like a heated topic in Japan. Do you throw away the obi or you don't? I do. Um, but this one says, Futsu toyu, toyu kiseki. So, a very normal miracle, basically. So, I think we're just gonna have a lot of good fun. Um, to show you, so to show you a little bit like the art for Yotsubato, so like the covers, this is Yotsuba. And Yotsubato means with Yotsuba. Her name isn't Yotsubato, her name is Yotsuba. So every, every chapter is like Yotsuba and something. So it's either like Yotsuba and like camping, Yotsuba and the beach, Yotsuba and the flower market, things like that. Um, so here, the first chapter is Yotsuba to Kutsushita. So, Yotsuba in socks! <laughs> so, it's just like cuteness overload. So, like, you can see, like, why it's really beginner friendly. So, like, it doesn't have that much dialogue per page. So, yeah, super beginner friendly. The art is just adorable and fun. And, like, the expressions um, on both, like, her father and, like, Yotsuba herself is just so adorable. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy this. I'm so excited. It's the next day. Yesterday after lunch, I was feeling tired, so I decided to watch a movie, and then I watched another movie, and then I watched another movie. So I watched like three movies from the 90s, which was pretty fun. It was like a nice like 90s, I don't know, revisit. So I, I ended up watching um, three movies I had never seen before, actually. I watched um, Outbreak, which was... It's, it's weird because it started off kind of seriously and then it kind of just became like comedic and ridiculous, but it was fun. Um, and then I watched the movie Hush with Gwyneth Paltrow, which was interesting. Um, very 90s, which was fun. And then I finished off watching the chess movie Searching for Bobby Fischer, which I don't know. Have I seen that? Like there are so many chess movies that they kind of all start to blend together after a while. But anyway, um, that's what I ended up finishing my day off with. So I didn't um, read any more after that. So this morning right now, I'm just finishing Yotsubato, uh, which is so cute. Um, I'm gonna have to show you like 
examples of why this is so adorable, but it's just like pure childhood innocence drawn in the most pure, innocent way. It's amazing. And like the thing is like the subtext for Yotobato is, if you can see, it's enjoy everything. And it's really that. It's just like taking the pleasures out of like the little moments of every single life, which don't happen just when you're young. It also happens when you're an adult. And you can see that when the father also finds himself enjoying things that his daughter enjoys. So it's super cute, super adorable. So I'm just finishing that up this morning. And then um, I'm actually going window shopping with a friend this afternoon. We're going to go window shopping for a very expensive jewelry <laughs> for diamonds diamonds um so that'll be fun and maybe i can take you guys with me um we're gonna go to the Ginza district and it's a beautiful day outside um so maybe i can take you guys along with me just a little bit and then when i come back from that um i will have to practice some violin because i didn't do that yesterday <laughs> um, but we'll see then after what I decide to read if I decide to read anything so um, yeah I'll see you well first let me show you the the pages I really like and then I'll take you to Ginza okay so I just had an update that I finished volume 15 and the ending was so good it was just like this super heartfelt moment that was just so sweet <laughs> I, I, I said I would show you some pages. Let me show you. So you see, it's like this super cute art style. So in this scene, um, Yotsubato, our main character, wants to... Well, not Yotsubato. Yotsuba wants to go pick up stones because she likes these like super smooth ones. And she wants to add to her collection. And so her father joins in. And you just see the art. like So like he starts picking up with that, without really too much of an expression. And then... He like says, oh, this is pretty. And then just the art goes down. Yotsuba goes off scene. You know, just like normal, actual real life. And yet he's still looking and searching. She comes back and they're still searching. And so the art is just so heartfelt. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's just like your childhood memories, really. And just so beautifully drawn. And then, you know, they talk about, and it's just, her expressions are super cute, and, um, like, the previous page, they're, t like, they're finding, um, glass, and then, well, well, they're talking about gems, and he, he was saying, like, oh, you can find things like a gate and, um, jade. And she says, what's, you know, what kind of stones are a gate and jade? And he's like, well, I, I actually don't know. But they're looking. And um, she finds a, a, a translucent one that kind of sparkles. And you're about like, a diamond. And, you know, it's just like those simple conversations that you've had as a kid. You've had other kids. Um, you've heard other kids talk about. And, but it's just like pure innocence and joy. And it's fun. And the characters are fantastic. And the thing that's really cool about this, if you're learning Japanese and using this as a, um, as a, uh, be like a beginner's guide, is that what's interesting about Yotsubato is that she's not yet in elementary school. So, as kids do, they often repeat what you know the adults say around them. And the thing that's really cool about this is that she. I don't know if I can find a a spot. Um, but basically like the the adults speak in kanji because obviously it's sh it's showing that they speak you know adult Japanese they, they're fluent Japanese but a kid doesn't so she only speaks in hiragana so even if there are words in katakana as a someone as like Japanese kids who haven't entered elementary school yet have not learned katakana so she doesn't speak in katakana either. She only speaks in hiragana. So it's those little details in the Japanese that just really make this such a pleasure to read. It's really, really fun. So super recommended for even if you're not a Japanese beginner, like any level will, should find this super charming and just adorable. And this is translated in English, so you can read this in English if you want. Um, and hopefully it's just as cute in English as it is in Japanese. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Because um, like even the covers, like the under the covers, there's always a surprise. 
So she drew um, her own uh, like children's picture book, and so this is like supposed to be her actual drawing, um, and like even has the barcode of the books that she added, and like that's a, like that's like a chapter. Here it is. It's this chapter in the book. So anyway, um, I'm headed off to Ginza now to go shop for my own a gate and gym and diamonds. <laughs> window shopping, window shopping. But yeah, um, see you in a bit. Good morning. It's once again the next day. Um, I, I had a wonderful time in Ginza. I showed you a beautiful stationery store. That was the floor with all the beautiful, like different kind of wrapping papers. It's 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 a fantasy land. It's like eight floors of um, stationery. It's a really famous store called Itoya um, in Ginza, and uh, it's highly recommended if you if you come here and you like stationery. Um, I bought a few things from the, from that store. I bought um, postcards. So um. I'm part of like a, so I'm, I'm part of the postcrossing.com um, site where you s send postcards to people around the world and you receive postcards um, from people around the world. So you, you send, you, you receive as many as you send out. Um, and so I love collecting like super um, Japan themed, illustrated, like local artists um, postcards so that I, I can send them out um, and then everyone's and then a few like more standard um, tourism type views um, but yeah I got a nice batch of postcards that I can send out and then I got some new washi tape that I like to use um, when I um, put my music together um, I use washi tape and then also whenever I make sandwiches for lunch like I always wrap sandwiches in parchment paper and then I just use like washi tape to close it. Um, but yeah, I got like a a kimono print. Oh, sorry, this is Sakura. You can't really tell because of the plastic wrapping, but then I got a kimono type print. And then I got the super, super cute one. It's fugu, um, which is blowfish, Japanese blowfish, which I have not eaten um, because I don't want to die. <laughs> um, but then, so then I also showed you a clip of this beautiful necklace that was absolutely like gorgeous. I want it so badly. It's um, Mugi, so wheat, and it's by the um, jewelry Chaume. So Chaume is a is a a French, um, a Parisian jeweler um, who dates back to, you know several hundred years. Um, uh, Napoleon gave um, Josephine a tiara from um, Chaume, so it's, it has a very, very long history. So we went there, and that necklace was absolutely beautiful. The, the, the craftsmanship, and just that design is so unique, it's so different, it was beautiful. It's also $60,000, um, so I did not buy that. <laughs> but boy, if any of you guys want to gift me a $60,000 uh, necklace, I won't say no. I won't say no. Not not with that one. That one's it's art. It's obviously art. Um, but to be honest, I did actually get myself a little something. Um, this is the huge bag that I received. Um, but I, I bought a ring. <laughs> um <laughs> yeah. But um yeah, I got myself a Shome ring that I've had my eye on for quite a while. Um 
so that's my Christmas present for this year um, since I probably won't be able to travel this year again um, I'm treating myself so yeah um, <clears throat> that's what I did yesterday today I'm probably gonna stay in um, because it's golden week everyone's on vacation and everyone's out and about and so I don't you know it's unnecessary since I, I'm I have a longer vacation than that um, where I can do stuff I don't really want to go to places that are really, really super busy and the weather I don't know what it's gonna be like today um, if I can I'll go for a bike ride uh, but I want to avoid crowded places the thing that was nice about Ginza is that because um, Tokyo has closed uh, department stores there are a lot fewer people so you could only go into boutiques and boutiques were definitely especially the jewelry stores that my friend and I were a uh, window supposedly window shopping in um, you know there's only like we were the only customers in there so it was a lot safer and it was it was fine but um, I'm definitely trying to avoid large crowds at this moment so today I'll probably stay in right now I'm just catching up on some laundry uh, today I think I'd like to try and read volume 6 of Gokushifudo the way of the house husband and then I still haven't chosen what my next book will be and I, I do think it's gonna be the Cormac McCarthy because his books are so easy to read and and you just get super engrossed and I think that's that'll be perfect um, so that's probably in the direction I'll go but we'll see for now um, just doing some ordinary household tasks and then I'll start reading so I realized that I haven't done the, the typical booktube making a drink montage so let's do that and there we go fresh squeezed grapefruit juice oh. the trick is to always do ruby grapefruit it's so sweet and for a bonus Add a blood orange, ooh, it just, oh, amazing. So I started volume six of uh, Gokushifudo, The Way of the House Husband, and I realized I haven't actually mentioned what this is about, um, but it's, it's a manga series about this former Yakuza member, so Japanese mafia, who retired. And it's, he just becomes, you know, a little, a house husband. And it's incredibly hilarious because basically, this book is just all puns. It's him going through everyday life, like uh, supermarket, um, doing supermarket runs, and you know, doing laundry and washing the dishes. And then he's part of like the local housewives community in his neighborhood. And he does all these activities, but whenever he talks, it sounds like he's talking about some sort of yakuza type thing. Um, so it's just full of these crazy puns and I kind of want to show you what I mean about that. So let me, let me turn the camera around. So here's volume six. And so, um, the very first chapter is, so like he always adopts this like sort of Yakuza position so that when people meet him for the first time, they're always like really, really scared. And, um, so this friend of his wife is recently married and recently became a, a housewife and she's having trouble managing their finances. And um, he's very good at like everything. He's just like a genius when it comes to being a house husband. So he agrees to help. And so there's like puns like, um, you know, are you confident that you have like good muscle power? And she's like, oh, I don't really know. It's like, oh, if you have good muscle power, then, um, you know, we can um, make money that way. Like we can save money that way. And like, so that automatically gives you the idea that him being a, a, a former yakuza, like, she's gonna make him like, he's gonna make her kill someone or something like that. She's just like, what, body? And then turns out it's just like riding the bike to go to the supermarket. So here is like, oh, if you go to the Matsuo supermarket, you can have um, beans and cabbage. Heiwa market is good for udon and eggs. You'll get the best price for that. It is like, uh, make a drawing, uh, make a, a, a map, and then go buy everything in book. She's like, yes. And then, so then they come back from the supermarket shopping and he's like, all right, now for, um, you know, a job in the, the water market. And basically, uh, the prostitution in Japanese has a, um, it's called mizu no shoubai. So basically selling water. Um, and so 
she thinks she's, she, he's going to make her turn into a prostitute. But really, he's just talking about the most efficient way to wash dishes and uh, conserve uh, water. So it's just like really ridiculous scenes where everything is a pun on being a Yakuza. And every, but it's always about just being an efficient um, uh, house husband. Like here, he's like, she's like, well, you know, I, I don't know if I can continue, you know, being really good about budgeting. He's like, well, you just have to come up with like a reward system for yourself. So like every day, uh, a, a one canned coffee or once a year going to the ocean. And again, going to the ocean is pun for, you know, in the Yakuza world for killing someone and dumping their body in the ocean. So she's like going to the ocean. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's so hilarious. And you can see like the art is amazing. So like here he's like, his own reward is like taking a bu bubble bath basically. So he's like a roses, nice and scented, a bottle of wine. Like, like he's just, he's so naive and innocent in that way. But I mean, he was a former Yakuza. But what's fun is that like, so the following chapter, what's fun is that like, the people around him start to adopt these like Yakuza ways. So here he's just part of like, um, like a community. I haven't read the chapter yet, but um, he's just part of like the community. Um, and so now all the women in the community, it looks like they're like the head bosses <laughs> of a Yakuza like conglomeration, or, like organization. So like, it's just, it's drawn like a Yakuza, like Yakuza manga, but it's just, it's basically just you know, like the local community, um, and they're just having like a meeting, and it looks like here they're, I don't know, just enjoying tea and having a little party. It seems so. Yeah, it's just it's hilarious. The art is amazing. Um, I haven't read the English translation, um, but I know people who have been reading it in English have been really, really loving this. So obviously, I mean, I think the translator probably did a really great job. I mean, this is hard to translate. I would actually like to see like what what they choose and how they how they um, translate it to be able to show off all the Yakuza puns. But it's just, it's absolutely hilarious. It's great. I've heard this, however, I've heard this recommended to beginners of Japanese um, just because there isn't that much dialogue. But I really disagree with that recommendation. I totally do not agree with that recommendation. This is hard. It's hard because it has a lot of puns. I mean, unless you, you're a beginner Japanese who watches Yakuza movies all day, uh, this is going to be hard. There are too many puns. Um, I mean, even this, it doesn't have furigana. So you're going to have to look up every you know kanji if you don't know it. So yeah, I would not recommend this for beginners of Japanese, unlike Yotsubato um, earlier in this, in this um, video. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna keep reading this because it's just it's just hilarious. I mean, look, oh, look at that art. It's so good. This manga is so stupid, <laughs> but so funny. I just it's let, let me let me show you what I'm laughing. I can't stop laughing, but let me show you the, the part that I just laughed at right now. So our main character can't fall asleep. So he decides that he needs to uh, start counting something. So he says, one Yakuza, two Yakuza, three Yakuza, five Yakuza, one cop, zero Yakuza, eight of them, sorry, eight of us, 10 of them, only one left. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 that's not right, that's not right. It's like, okay, so if we're gonna sleep, then I need some, like, calming sounds. Oh, here we go. Forest sounds. Ah, the rustling leaves, the sound of birds, the sound of Yakuza digging a hole. Oh, wait, no, 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 maybe, maybe something different. Ah, the ocean sounds. Ah, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> finished volume six of uh I, I don't know why i have to keep looking to see what the title is of um the way the house has been finished volume six and i decided um even though it's only mid uh day saturday i'm gonna end the video here because it's already like 30 minutes long 
um so yeah i'll just do i'll just do more vlogs later it's not an issue so yeah um thanks for watching up to now i hope this was fun for you and hopefully you'd read these manga if you're a manga lover because yeah they're so good and so funny and it's, it's a good time it's a good time so anyway thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video thanks bye